In this video, we're going to be looking at the static keyword and its usage in the C programming language. So the static keyword could mean two different things depending on where it's being used. So you have to ask yourself the question, where is the static keyword being used to understand the meaning or what exactly it's doing. So if you use the static keyword inside a function, and you define a variable as being static inside a function, then what you're essentially doing is you're affecting the lifetime of that variable. You're extending the lifetime of that variable to span the lifetime of the entire program rather than only that function. So usually an automatic variable or a local variable inside a function would only span the duration of that function. So it would be the moment you enter the function, you define it, it would be allocated on the stack and once you exit that function, then this uh, would be discarded. That local variable that was defined in this function would be discarded at the end of that call. But once you put a static keyword in front of that local variable that you would have defined in that function, then what happens is that this variable will be stored in the data segment of the process instead of the stack. And what happens is that every time someone calls this function, then that variable would retain its value across the calls. So when the first caller calls that function, that caller might modify the value of this variable, of the static variable. And when the next caller comes in, then they would inherit the value that was modified by the first caller, and so on and so forth. So this variable would essentially retain its value between calls to that function as opposed to a local variable which would lose its value uh, every time a caller calls that function. So this is inside a function. At the function level, the static keyword has a different meaning. And what it does there it, it is it affects the scope of whatever it's modifying. So if you have a global variable that you define as static, what this means is that this global variable is only, is only accessible to elements inside that file, that C file. You cannot access that global variable anymore from outside that C file. And similarly for functions, you're basically saying that the visibility of that function is limited to that C file, cannot be accessed from other C files. So if you, def if you use the static keyword at the function level by uh, defining a global variable as being static or a function as being static, then what you're essentially doing is you're modifying the scope of these elements. Whereas if you use the static keyword inside a function, then what you're doing is you're affecting the lifetime of the variable that you're defining as static and you're extending its lifetime uh, to span the entire length of the program. So let's look at an example right here. This is a static global variable. So we have the variable x and we're adding static to it right here. So this means x cannot be accessed from outside this C file. Then we have a function called printNum that we're putting static keyword right here. And what this does is that printNum is only visible to this file. No other files could call that function anymore. So you are limiting the scope of that function. And finally, here there is, we're inside a function. We have a static keyword being used here on a variable. And what this does, as we said in the first meaning, is that the, vari the variable y will be retaining its value across the calls to print num. And here we see how, what was, was going to happen if main was to call print num three times. So in this program, main is calling print num three times. The first time it does so, then y will get the value of zero. The static variable y will get value value of zero. And then we will print that value. So you'll get zero. And then y is incremented by one. So if we wouldn't have the static keyword, what would happen is that this y variable after this call would be discarded. And the next caller comes in, calls it again, it will be zero. And then you print it, you would print zero. But since it's, this, it's a static local variable, then what happens is that this y variable would retain its value across the calls. The next time you call it, since you incremented it by one last time, and it only gets initialized once, by the way. Static variable gets initialized only once. So this statement won't be executed the next time. Next time you go directly to printing out whatever the value it has, and the value it currently ha has would be the one it had from the previous call which was one, so you would print one, and then you would increment it by one again, the next caller comes in, calls that function, 
prints out the value, it would be 2, increments it by 1, but then we end the program. So you get 0, 1, 2 instead of 0, 0, 0 if you hadn't declared the y variable as static.